Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transform this date with this given date format into a real date using a formula. And after that, to get the difference of the end date and the start date to get the number of days. So the number of days is very easy. You can just deduct the, the end and start date or use the days formula. But the task here is to, the additional task here is to convert this format here, given format, into the dates. To a real date format so uh, let's convert that the first step is to use the data function for that for the year we're gonna use the right uh, function because I wanted to extract this uh, 2021 here which is uh, located at the right side so this is the text comma the number of characters will be four so I wanted to get the whole 2021 for that then close it comma for the month i'm going to use the mid formula for that same thing this is the text and then the start number here will be four because i wanted to get this uh, two number here the start number will be four because uh, we count it as a one here for the zero two for the two including the dot that's three and then you begin at four with a zero on the month so the the format here is day month and year so that's it, that's the start number, comma, the number of characters will be two because I wanted to extract this two number here and then I close it, comma, for the day, we're gonna use the left function for that because the day is, in, is located in the left side of this text. So I'm gonna extract the text here, comma, the number of characters will be two because I wanted to extract zero two in this case. Close the left function, close the date, and that's it, enter. And you have the real date format in this case, and then copy and paste that onto the other side. Now you have the real date format. Now, if your setting is uh, on your clock, is something like a day, month, and year, uh, such as like this, the same as like this, you can also use the substitute formula. Substitute formula, I'm going to write that. So the text will be the date here, the given date, comma. The old text will be, uh, I'll use a code because this is a text. Uh, and because the delimiter is dot here, I'm going to use that. That's the old text, comma. Now you replace that with the new text. You're going to use a code here with a slash because this is the format for the date. And then uh, double quote again and close it. Number of instance is optional. So I'm going to close it and that's it. Copy and paste it, and that's the same thing. It transformed this date here into a real date. So you can just use that. Uh, on the number of days, just a simple formula. You deduct the end date with the start date, and you get the days, the number of days. Or you can just use the days function for that, which is, this is the end date, comma, and the start date. That's the same thing. So you, you can just uh, pick uh, which one you prefer on using. So that's it. I'm finished sure I'm done. If you're liking my videos, you can subscribe in the channel and see you next time and thanks.